You can use zones within on-screen takeoff to break out takeoff quantities into different areas, representing phases, floors, wings, pour schedules, or any other breakout that you might need. Zones are similar to bid areas, but you actually draw the zone on screen, similar to how you draw area takeoff. This potentially gives you more flexibility, depending on how complex your job layout is. To create a zone, navigate to the Conditions panel on the left side of the screen. From there, select the Zones tab along the top, and then select the blue plus sign button in the bottom left corner. A Zone Properties window then displays. Begin by giving your zone a name. Next, you have the ability to assign the zone to a layer, so you can hide and display all of the takeoff within a zone as needed. Then, choose a color for the zone, just like you would for a condition, and then a pattern. For zones, you'll likely want to choose either None, which gives you just an outline, or Transparent, which fills in the zone's area with a selected color, but allows you to see the takeoff underneath. You can also count the quantities within a specific zone as negative values. This is particularly useful when working within change orders or alternates, as negative quantities act as a credit. Finally, add any relevant notes you might want to associate with this zone, and then press OK to create the zone. Once you've created the zone, now you must define the area of the zone. Begin clicking points on the image to outline the area of the zone. This process is identical to drawing area takeoff. Single click at each corner and double click to close. Any takeoff inside the zone's area has its quantities added to the zone's totals. Another benefit to using zones is that if the zone's boundary intersects a piece of takeoff, only the portion of that takeoff that is inside the zone's boundaries counts towards the quantity totals for the zone. A single piece of takeoff could potentially have portions of its quantity assigned to multiple zones. This is in stark contrast to using bid areas, where a single piece of takeoff can only be assigned to one bid area and all its quantity is assigned to the area. We've mentioned some of the similarities and differences between zones and bid areas, but it's also worth pointing out that they're not mutually exclusive. In fact, they're often used together. It's common practice to use bid areas to group takeoff for the different physical areas of a project, like buildings or floors, and then use zones to account for phasing. By using both features together, you can break out the same takeoff in multiple ways. Once you've drawn your zones, you can copy and paste them between pages. For example, if a phase's boundary is identical across different floor plan and ceiling plan images, you can simply copy and paste the zone, rather than redrawing it on each sheet. To copy a zone, simply select the zone, right-click, and then choose Copy. Then, navigate to the sheet on which you want to paste it, right-click on the sheet, and choose Paste. A dotted line zone outline then follows your pointer. Left-click where you want to place it on your plan. To view your results, navigate to the Takeoff tab. Once there, right-click and choose Group by Zone. Now, your takeoff quantities display broken out by their assigned zones.